We've got a submission here from uh, Irvan Lith. Uh, we're going to take a look at his tune. Uh, Beta Flight 216 with air mode turned on. So that's uh, familiar territory for me. Um, and we'll take a look at some flying through a parking garage. Uh, you asked, you know, you're not outdoors, so you can't do some punch outs, flips and rolls, and, and, and does that matter? And the answer is that, um, you know, the, the fast flight, flight that involves uh, a prop wash, you know, hard turns, where you're sliding into your own prop wash or, or low throttle descents with throttle ups at the end, those tend to be the most extreme edges of the envelope uh, that bring out tuning issues. But you know, there's certainly still a lot you can get from aggressive flying in a parking garage. Uh, the thing that really just doesn't give any information is just sort of docile hovering in somebody's garage. It's just not much you can tell from a tune there. Um, so let's take a look at what you got here and we'll see what we got. We're going to look at the gyros first. Gyros are very clean. Uh, not so clean that I would go, oh man, yeah, no less filtering. Go, turn your filtering off. Um, so there's there, the, the thickness of the lines indicates that they are uh, you know, just a little noisy. They're not like pencil thin, um, but they're, they're not noisy in any respect. So uh, no questions here about your, your filtering, about your, your gyros, your props, your noise. What props are you using? Oh, HQ5045 rounded props. Yeah, HQ makes very good, very balanced props. Um, Cobra motors are not known for being the most well balanced, but there's really nothing to complain about here in terms of, of noise, in terms of vibration. So good. Just out of curiosity, let's take a look at what you're doing with your filtering. Um, gyro LPF. So, okay. So, your gyro LPF is 188 hertz. Uh, you do have the hardware filter in the the, uh, the IMU chip turned on. Just in the interest of science, you could try turning gyro LPF off. It will make your copter noisier, but it'll also make it fly a little sharper. And and I don't think you'll notice the noisierness, but you might notice the sharperness. So give that a try. Don't change anything else. Just uh, just set your gyro LPF to off and see if you like how that flies any better. Um, uh, let's see, D-term cut hertz. Since your copter is not also not very noisy, you could also try raising your D-term cut hertz from 40 to 60 to 80, or you could try uh, turning it off entirely, setting D-term cut hertz equals zero. D-term cut hertz of zero is likely to make somewhat of a difference in your tuning. You may need to retune your D-terms a little bit. So if you're not interested in like sort of undertaking this process of retuning, it might not be worth it. Unlike the gyro LPF, which you'll turn it off and either you'll like it or you won't, and then you'll turn it back on or you'll keep it. It won't require a retune. I don't think so. Um, but you can certainly try tweaking this as well. Again, just in the interest of helping you out with a prop wash oscillation and just sharpening up your overall response. Uh, raising D-term cut hertz 40, 60, 80, something like that, or turning it off entirely with D-term cut hertz equals zero. Um, okay, so something to think about. Let's take a look at roll. Oop, well, that's pitch. Let's take a look at roll. Oh, and let's get your gyros out of there. Don't need that. And let's zoom in. Okay, so I'll show you something I like to do just to do something a little different. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to just set my playback speed at like 35, 40% and play it back. And that is, I find slow enough that I can watch maybe a little, maybe even 40%. I can just kind of, I feel like that guy from, uh, from the Matrix, you know? He's like, you know, he's watching the Matrix scroll by, right? Uh, okay, maybe it's not quite like that, but I can just kind of defocus my eyes a little bit and watch the line go by and try and pay attention to how active it is. Aha, see, we got some super activity here. What was going on here? I don't know, but we can, what happened there? Let's see. I don't know. That's very interesting. Did you bump the throttle or what? I don't know. I don't know. We started to get some activity here on our roll, though. You see that the, 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 we can see these big magnitude, right, and regular cyclical uh, frequency, okay? Let's just keep playing it. 
Now here's a turn. We're getting some prop wash here because you're moving fast enough that we are going to get some prop wash here. Let's see what happens. We start to get some spikes here. Nothing to complain about though. Gets a little active, but nothing to complain about. Keep going. In these sections, it is very inactive. It's very quiet. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Um, you're not, it's not being asked to do very much. Here comes another turn. Don't see any oscillations coming in in the turn. It starts working more. The magnitude gets greater, but we don't start to see any oscillations like that first thing I, I called out. Throttles back up. We're turning here. By the way, I, I, I think you might suspect. Let's just check. I'm pretty sure I synced this up pretty good, but it does kind of look like it's. No, no, it's it's synced up pretty good. It is interesting. Notice that you push into the turn and the PID is very close to zero. The PP is very close to zero. Uh, the PID loop is doing a good job of keeping error low. And it's only when you really start sliding that then the P term starts get, get growing in magnitude. We're starting to see some cyclical, not exactly oscillations, but definitely some uh, the beginnings of what might be oscillations here. Um, in, in the sliding turns, that's normal. Let's keep watching. Yeah. So as I go through this, uh, I don't see anything that is indicative of excess P gain, except that one place I called out, which where it started to do what I thought was an oscillation. If I saw a bunch of this, I would say, okay, maybe your peak is right where it needs to be, or maybe it's even a little bit too high. But I don't see hardly any of that. And most of the time, your peak term is quite docile. Um, I would say that P could probably come up a little here. Yeah. Here, here. So if I just, you know, pulling, just sort of looking through this, glancing through this, this kind of activity where we're starting to see P get active, but not quite to the point of like harder oscillations that you could see or hear in the motors. That's currently my target for where I feel like I like the tune to be, where I'm seeing this happen in the more aggressive times and not in the more low, sort of low throttle straight and narrow flight. Uh, and it feels like you're really there. We're starting to see these little sharp peaks here sometimes. We're starting to see the P-term get a little out of line. Um, so it, it's probably right about where it needs to be. The more of this that I see, the more I think it's right about where it needs to be. And as far as D goes, I think D could be a little higher. But if you're happy with how it flies, I don't think there's anything to complain about. What's your D at? Rewrite 14. I think it could be a little higher. Try taking it up to 17 or 18. See if you like the feel of that. Um, but it's it's in the range of where I would say it's 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 a matter of it's a subjective matter of preference rather than sort of like oh that's that's probably a bad tune no 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 it's a subjective matter of preference you could you could maybe see if you like it a little higher but definitely the first, so far what I'm seeing is it's all really right it's 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 right it's pretty good so if there were one thing I would suggest you try to to improve the, your flight feel it is uh. To, to turn off that uh, a gyro LPF filter and see how you like that feel. Your, your gains feel like they're right about where they need to be. Um, si similar thing here at pitch. We're looking at pitch now. Similar thing here with these, you know, these kind of big humps, semi-regular. Let's, let's just keep playing this forward and looking for that kind of thing. This is just sort of normal activity. See, we've got these uh, rolling hills here. Normal activity, not really asking it to do much. Gets a little more active. Now we're starting to get higher frequency uh, activity. The, the hills are shorter, closer together, higher frequency. This is the kind of activity as we get into this higher frequency paradigm 
that I wouldn't like to see too much of because I think that turns into oscillation uh, relatively easily. Got more of it here. Yeah. So oh, more of it here. So I would not suggest, based on what I'm seeing here, I probably would not suggest turning pitch. Yeah, more of it here. Pitch P gain up very high. Roll felt like maybe roll could get a little higher. Pitch feels like pitch is as high as it needs to be, probably. You'll notice that even during this forward flight, right, even during forward flight where roll was relatively docile and you're not doing very much, we see pitch being pretty active even during just the straight forward flight. And and so that's indicating it's kind of, it's, it's on the ragged edge and during more extreme flight, we could expect to start to see it misbehave and step out of line. Um, so I think for this kind of flying that you're doing, this is fine. I don't think I would say to turn it down, but I probably wouldn't say to turn it up either. I think you've really found the sweet spot for pitch. Uh, make a note of it. Probably the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> um, as for D, you know, I see in times like this where P is pretty active and D is pretty quiet, right? D is pretty... Your D on roll looked like it was it was pretty close to you know sub, where it needed to be subjectively it might could be a little higher. I look at pitch and I see scenarios like this where where pitch uh, D is pitch P is starting to move starting to get active, but D is relatively low magnitude and close to the line, and you know just in the interest of nitpicking and and saying anything at all, I'd say try you might could try turning pitch D up a little. Uh, maybe a little more than roll. Pitch D is 25. How about that? Oh, and pitch P is 77.8. Interesting. Yeah, so the thing is, P is already sort of right on the edge, so you can't afford to have too much D, but maybe take that up to like 28, maybe even as high as 30 and see if you like how it feels. Uh, but if not, take it right back where it is. You know, this is not a, a, a strong suggestion. And then you asked about roll or y'all, ra rather. So, yeah. So y'all is, y'all is, yeah. It's hard to judge y'all, but to me, this looks more active than I would probably like to see. Y'all is always sort of moving. This looks uh, just... I'm just looking at the the size of the back and forth spikes and the frequency and it looks more active to me than I probably would like to see but yeah 4 on rewrite I don't know that's interesting 4 on rewrite is oh no that's the float I'm sorry I'm looking in the wrong place uh 11.2 yeah okay so that um that's good. That's a that's a kind of a high number. Um I'm I'm currently at eight. So just you know to give you a uh you know just another data point. Um it's the thing is if you're not getting oscillations oh yeah, you're super active here. I mean at the very least it could probably clean up your motor traces a little bit. You're really definitely into the paradigm of of, of P term oscillation here. You're, you're not just like, here you're just kind of jumping around, but here you're starting definitely to get into that regular uh, repetitive oscillation uh, mode. And I think that's probably too high. Um, but you're not there all the time. Yeah, yeah, here. I would take the, I agree with you that the P term on y'all can come down. Uh, I think you're, you're something like 11, try taking it down to maybe 9, see how it flies. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, okay, well, good. Hope that's helpful, and happy flying.